Welcome back, folks. Um, first of all, Heather and I did that this morning. We milled that, and the blade was dull. So I had to sharpen the blade, and I reset it while I was at it. So I don't know how well it'll cut. The blade's pretty old now. And it's really hard to sharpen these blades. I find to reset them once they get so old. But I did it anyway. So we got that set in place. Oh, and then we milled. So we did two logs. Okay, two logs. So we got these three left, these two, and then that one there. But we have some three by six. We have enough to build a rafter plus. Yeah. Hope that wind's not bothering this camera too much. So that's what we did there. We got that set up here. Um, I don't know, it's off a little bit, but if you don't tell anybody, I won't. I, I anchored that down with those. Uh, uh, log ox, I think they're log ox screws. I can't remember now what they are, but timber timber lock screws, I think, that, that Bert sent us. So thanks, Bert. We're putting them to good use. So that's how that's looking. That will be clear panel out here, and then there'll be clear panels running up there. Greenhouse, those, uh, what do they call them? Poly panels or whatever they are. They're the same profile, they're pretty close to the same profile as that roof up there. So that's the level. We just got to take this and we have to move this this way a little bit. Yep. yep, yep, but we'll cross brace that once we get so far. So this I didn't anchor down yet because I have to cut a notch about here, down center, down three inches and across and then cut it down. The other one will get cut the opposite way. It'll get cut here, three inches over and then up. That's how she be. So we got that one done too. That one's eight foot as well. I'm just gonna see if we can mill this, see how that blade holds out. I didn't put the uh, I didn't put the guard on it yet, the cover. But that blade is yeah, she's pretty rusty. After it gets rusty like that, it gets past the, the blue on the on the tip of the blade where they heat treat it. Well heat heat treat it. You don't really uh, not much heat treatment on there. But I could heat treat it myself, I guess. But uh, I think they sharpen them and they heat treat them, I think. But anyways, we're going to take our time and we're going to do this log. I don't want too much dips and dies. This is going to be a nice size in here. And there's a lot, not a lot of knots in it. I see one here. I don't know if there's any more in there. But that, we will get some, we'll get some maybe two, three by sixes and... Maybe a couple 2x8s if we're lucky. We get two 2x8s, that will do that far fly rafter. We'll be able to continue that all the way down because we need 2x8s out of that. Hopefully, still loving that battery from Power Queen, man. I gotta do a, I wanna do a full review. I don't get a lot of views on my review. I don't get a lot of views on my videos like that, reviewing stuff, products like this, but I do it because we use them lots here living off grid, maybe. A lot of people can't afford them, but I mean, I like to show you what's out there. I always get the, you know, uh, I could build a solar system for, I built one for $1,500 myself, blah, blah, blah. Well, so have I, but a lot of regular people can't just go buy solar panels and fix them and buy a bunch of batteries and throw them together. And you're not getting much for $1,500, I'll tell you that right now. But these products I'm showing you here, it's for people who don't want to go buy used panels, put them together, buy batteries, throw it together, or sorry, buy that stuff and then have to hire somebody to build it. So that's why I don't get people when I tell them about these products and they always, they don't think about everybody else. They think about, well, I did this for $500. I can get this for $1,000. Well, you may be able to, but the average person out there that watches the channel may not be able to go build that stuff. So that's why I'm showing you this stuff on here. So let's get to it.
already. So I set, when I did this blade, I set it at 20 thou. So it's getting a lot of sawdust, I'll tell you. It's leaving a lot, but look at, she's cutting straight as an arrow. A few little ridges in there. I'm not going to complain at that. For an old rusty blade I found hanging up inside the building, and I thought I would see if I could sharpen it and make good use of it, and it's... I'll use it until it breaks, you know? It's not the, uh, not the greatest, I mean, but still, I don't know how long it'll be until it breaks. It's probably a lot of fatigue in there, but it's milling it, and it's doing okay, so I will not complain. That's how straight it looks. Pretty darn straight. So, when you buy these, I think they have a 10, 10, um, 10 thou offset on the tooth and I did this one at 20. It takes a little more power to run it that's why I go a little slower. Less chance of it wandering though if you hit a lot of these these uh, knots on here but some of these knots are pretty big and they're pretty hard. These trees usually grow very slow like I tell people. They grow very slow up here and they grow very tight. The grain is very very close. Right at the start obviously in the center they're not that close because you don't have to have a really good season for that tree to double in size when it's really small and then but as a tree gets bigger and bigger well it doesn't double anymore it barely puts on rings the bigger it gets but that tree i bet if i counted that tree that's probably 70 years old probably that that pine growing up here it's at least 50 anyways. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 70, maybe 75 years old, that tree. Just right here, there is there is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten right there. There's ten. Then you have all this space in here, and then these rings get really tight here. It must have been really cold because they grew really slow for a few years. And then... They grow a little more, and down here they get a little further apart. I wouldn't be surprised if that 60, 70 year old tree, that one. We've cut some that were over 100 here, about 120 years old. Like this one here, this big uh, two foot one here, that was 120. I, I counted them and I counted over 120 rings. And that's not even the bottom section. On the bottom section there, that pine, I counted 120 of them. So. Each ring represents one year of growth. But like I say, since the uh, season is so slow up here, they don't grow lots in a year. And that makes them really hard to mill once they dry. Like we're cutting dry trees here, right? So they're, they're harder to mill than, than green trees. So I am going to start the mill up and I got to cut that in half because that's a six by six. Just over, it's just over six inches high, but six inches wide. I do it just over six inch wide so I can account for that blade when I take a, uh, a cut out of there. So let's get to it again. Now some of that sawdust got slid off when Heather drug the, dragged the other board off, but I'll show you how much sawdust stays there. I'll show you what it's leaving for sawdust. <laughs> like it's cutting quite a bit. Look at this here. Um, let's go back here where it didn't get dragged away. Look at this. That's how much. That's how much sawdust that it's leaving with that 20 thou offset. It's doing a good job. But I can tell it's working hard to mill that. Yeah, check it out. There's a lot of that there. That's okay. The blade's not going to get pinched. I see there's a bad spot there, but we're going to use it anyways. That's why I don't like these. That's why I don't like building with spruce trees. Spruce trees have a lot of limbs. Jack pine here does not tend to have a lot of limbs. And if they do, it's way up at the top of the tree. This is getting near the top of the tree. 
that's why we're getting so many knots and knots of course were limbs everybody knows that maybe not everybody but for the most part people know that it's just like all those stars up there most of those are all of those are stars or suns that's what those stars are so anyways we're going to load another one here you see just how we load it too it's really easy i think a lot of you folks have seen how we load these before but i'll show you just how easy it is for those of you who haven't seen it yet let's go to get the camera set up here even this we got it down pretty easy so we don't have to work too hard at it anymore and i like that i grab my winch remote I mean these here I could we could load these by hand Heather and I could but why I built this unit so I didn't have to load them by hand I mean the odd time in the bush I load them Just that simple. I'll help you in a minute. I'll set that up, Heather. Mm -hmm. I'll just swing that over there so we don't get it in the forehead. How easy is that? I almost don't even have to work. That is it loading them on the mill. Let's set you folks back here again. Get you all set up here and then we'll run this one through. If it's not raining tomorrow, we may build rafters and see if we can put a few up tomorrow maybe. That would be nice, I think. The other thing is too folks, bear in mind, this is a homemade mill I built years ago. It's not no uh, it's not no brand new mill where all the where they've designed everything through AutoCAD. I just threw this together to build a house and we're still using it. What's up, babe? I gotta lift this up first. I'm gonna slide you over a bit. Okay, I'll push her over. Um, now let's put something under there. Can we help you lift it or you got it? I got it. That's good. I'm gonna back this out a bit here. You're gonna see I gotta go a little slower now because of the fact that I put so much offset on those, uh, or they just call them set. I put so much set in those teeth. It takes a lot of power to run that. So I just go slow. have enough three by six mil to do a three rafter so now we're going to put this big one on there and it's a big one big for here at 16 inches we're going to see what we can get out of there
know and it's a really big one like this i don't know if it's going to tip the trailer so i put this outrigger in that i built and you'll see how that goes So all I did was took a jack like that. Actually, Bert Skelton sent us this jack, so thank you very much, Bert. I welded a piece of this receiver tube that you'd use for a trailer. Your your uh, that you what you'd put your ball on if you had a, a a pickup truck or something. That's the size, two inch. And then I used the outer part if you're going to build a tow hitch, like I build a few of them here. I took an outer part and I weld it on the front of the trailer here. So I just slide this in, jack it up, and you'll see the trailer won't tip. You watch how stable this is. Yes, a lot of times I will put a two inch shimmer or something underneath that so I don't have to lift it up. So I don't have to jack it down so far. But I wasn't in a hurry. I don't know what that log weighs, but it's 10 foot, just over 10 foot, six inches long, and it's 16 inches across the butt. And it's a dry jack pine, so what it weighs, I don't know. But I know I didn't even work hard to do that.
That takes all the hard work out of it, folks. Best thing I ever did was build that trailer. And I wasn't going to, but after listening to years of suggestions and comments from <laughs> you viewers, I thought, well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I am getting a little older. Maybe it will take a little while, root through my scrap and build one. I built one. I had to buy the winch. Of course, one winch failed, but it was it was a defect in it right from the get-go. And then I bought that cylinder, the hydraulic cylinder that, that I used to jack up the ram. And the battery was sent to me. So I had an old battery I used to use, but it would go dead lots from using it like this. But that Power Queen uh, battery, a lithium iron frost, phosphate battery, that is just going strong as ever. So game changer for this guy. So obviously that's a bigger log. I'm going to take my time. I don't want to have any dips and dives in it. I'm not getting them yet from that blade, so that's good. Unfortunately, taking out more wood like that because I have it set so much, it will dull probably fairly quickly, but I'll just take my time. I'll just walk slow and, and we'll get her done. flip it by hand and we're going to see where I can cut it maybe I'll take a couple inches off either side but I want to do it evenly so I can get that heart in the center if I can
that last slow boring cut gave us a nice one inch board so now I can take two inches off of it it's just, eight, just over eight inches now so that'll bring us down to six inch and it'll flip her up and then we'll start cutting our two inch and then our two three inch That last, last cut gave us a really nice two inch board. Close to two inches, what is it here? Might be just under. Well, it's about that much under two inches. It's a uh, eighth of an inch under two inches. I'm not gonna complain at that. So, yeah, one and seven eighths inch thick. By this is the wide end, of course. So what's the width on this at the wide end here? Outside bark, 14 and a half inches. But, like, that's the widest. So I, I might be able to get two 2x6 two out of that. Or 2 inch and 7 eighths by 6 inch out of that. Now this here, 
take our time. That is six inches wide. I'm going to let this down because the wind's picking up. I don't want you to get blown over here. Now, let's see how this goes. See what we can get over this. That's our first fully cut 2x6. Now, and we have a one inch of wide one that we haven't trimmed down yet. We probably won't be, we'll leave it as live edge for now. We probably have two 2x6 on the trailer out of this log we can mill too, but we're gonna see what else we get.
So we will clean this one inch up here and we'll do the two by six too. Just see what we get out of this one log. So that was one one by six out of here as well. So that's two one by six I think so far. And I think two two by six and two three by six. I'm not sure, but we're gonna see if we can deal with this other one that come off this log now too. be nice if I could get two two by six or two one seven eighths by six I guess really but we'll see what we can get.
we're not going to get two two by six out of there. Okay, so what we got out of there was a 2x4 at the top, 1 and 7 8 by 4, won't lie to you, and uh, 1 and 7 8 by 6 out of here. So that's what I got right there. There we go. Hoping you can see that. And we'll check her down here as well. So here. We got there, I almost fell, <laughs> and there's what we got. And like I say, it's um, it's not quite two inch, if I'm correct. Let me see here. It's an eighth off, inch and seven eighths, by six inch. So, I'm not sure, you folks figure it out, but I don't know what we got. I think we got two, two three by sixes. Two two by sixes, a one by six, a one and seven eighths by six inch, and a one and seven eighths by four inch out of that one log. Not too shabby. And the trailer's empty. The trailer runneth dry. <laughs> <laughs> but we have enough here though to do to do. Four, we have enough three by six to do four rafters. That should be the eight foot, I think. Yeah, that should be the eight foot right here. That should do to there. So that'll be at least pretty much eight foot covered. But we don't have enough two by six. How many two by six do we have roughly? Um. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Yeah, we got eight. So that's enough to do two rafters. Yeah. And then we need some more, and then we need another. So, so there's enough here. So it's going to take one, two, three, four. Yeah. So four. So four times four. Sixteen. You got her. That's what it's going to take. Sixteen two by six to do this. To do four rafters, 16 two by six. Not too bad. No, so we just need eight more. What's that? We just need eight more. And we're good, right? Yep. Yeah, we got eight cut, eight more. Oh, it would take too long. Really, that's only 
um, two, four, six. So if we bring out along and square it, six by six roughly, you get three two by six out of a log, six by six. Three logs would do it. Yep. We'd have enough. But we'd bring out, we'd bring out at least four or five logs because the reason I wanted is so we can finish that, so we can run that over to there. Yeah. Bring out as many logs as we can, but I don't know if it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so oh, we'll see. Okay. So we're gonna put things away and head in there. At least we got, we got, so today we got that all done. And we got this all milled. And I sharpened up a blade and I set, I did the saw set on it. And I'll show you what I use. Heather, how would you like to wheel this back? Please, the mill back and uh, cover it up and jam that stick in there so it don't roll away. And I'll show them what I use for, I've had this for quite a while. Uh, Morris, a uh, fella I know, he gave this to me and it comes in real handy, I'll tell you. This here I use for setting the, uh, setting the teeth on the, on the blades of the mill. That comes in really handy. And it's a proper one for setting the set on the blades. Yep. And then I have the sharpener in the basement. But I, I put this away, I bring it out each time I need it. Makes a big difference, I'll tell you, when you get the set back in those teeth where they're supposed to be. Man, I hope I didn't have a, I had a white eclair. I hope I didn't have it in my mustache while I was talking. Probably didn't even check it out. Man, you can dress me up. You no, know, you can't even dress me up. So certainly don't try to take me out. Yeah, I think it was right here. There was some, honestly, that's what that stuff was, so no jokes there. Yeah, that's what that, uh, had some of that white stuff in my face there, so yeah. I think that looks great. You got her all put away. Anyways, you folks take care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Please let us know. Um, comments uh, means a lot to us. We really like it. Yep. And I know you hear this probably lots, but it does help out our channel. The comments, they say, helps more than the likes. We like the likes too, but the comments really makes a difference on how far our videos get spread. So we love that. And we love reading your comments. So you folks take care, and we'll try to talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, all. Bye.